next fall. I think it's going to be called Damascus. We shall see. Uh, it's told from the point of view of seven different people, uh, but this short excerpt is going to be told from this guy named Owen. And all you really need to know about Owen at this point in the story is that he's got this terrible birthmark right beneath his nose that looks like a Hitler mustache. Uh, and this little girl just walked up to him on Valencia Street and pointed out his likeness to Mr. Hitler. <laughs> he was almost to the cafe when he saw a homeless man who'd scattered on the sidewalk the items he found, swapped, or stolen. These were laid out on a blanket to entice pedestrians. There were some clothes, a single CD, a naked Barbie doll, a broken sewing machine, a bunch of old cassette tapes, mostly Motown, and a cracked black case for an acoustic guitar. The guy also had six issues of The New Yorker from the early 90s with tattered, water-damaged pages, stiffed and toothed at the edges. Nothing highfalutin or of any real monetary value, but as Owen walked toward the end of the man's paltry sale, he saw something worthy of another style of appraisal. He saw the Santa suit. He saw asylum. Owen stopped in front of the costume. He imagined all those part-time workers portraying Santa at malls around the country come December. Their true identities hidden under a facade of happy associations. He needed to bury the Hitler costume he couldn't take off under the image of this Yuletime superhero. The homeless guy held a harmonica in his hand, though he hadn't <laughs> played a note since Owen had been in earshot. How much for the Santa suit? Owen asked. The wind picked up a bit, fog drifting from the Castro through the mission. A car was being hooked to a tow truck across the street. Someone was taping Xerox copies of a missing cat poster over an abandoned storefront. <clears throat> Information leading to chip whiskers Safe return would result in a handsome reward. <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to be 20 bucks, the homeless guy said. Well, but, but it's filthy. And don't buy it, he said. And he put the harmonica in his mouth and played a series of carefree notes to illustrate his ambivalence about the transaction. <laughs> Owen sighed, saddened that he'd been bested by this homeless merchant. 20 it is. Wear that uniform well, the homeless guy said. <laughs> Owen removed his coat and began to put the suit on over his clothes. The Santa pants were a little short for him, revealing an inch of jeans a little tight in the waist. The coat, too, was snug, sleeves only coming three quarters of the way down his forearms. But he didn't care. Once he slipped the beard and hat on, every man woman and child would see Santa Claus and think to themselves, yes, 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 <laughs> now there's a friendly face. <laughs> a college student stood out front of Ritual Roasters in a Che Guevara t-shirt. He was holding a clipboard and asked Owen, does Santa want to sign a petition to legalize marijuana? <laughs> I stay out of politics, Owen said. Politics? Who said anything about politics, bro? This is about our God-given right to smoke the sticky icky. <laughs> Owen only shrugged, though, and went inside the cafe and ordered a double espresso. The young hipster behind the counter sported full sleeves of gorgeous tattoos, inch-long crows flying up her arms. She said to him, can I give you my Christmas list? Of course. All I want is for my boyfriend to go to rehab. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. <laughs> you know, and, and the new PJ Harvey CD. <laughs> Noted, Owen said. You know, but if I had to choose one or the other, she said, definitely Seth getting into rehab. I can't remember the last time I saw him sober. Last night, I caught him licking a stick of butter as a midnight snack. <laughs> this morning, the motherfucker was drinking rum in the shower. <laughs> I'll, I'll do my best to help him, Owen said. The crows on the backs of her wrists had their beaks open and shrieking. Owen tried to hand her three dollars, but she shook it away. Then she looked around, and once convinced that her perimeter was safe, 
from any managerial condemnation, she whispered to Santa, your money is no good around here. <laughs> <laughs> Elation thumped through Owen as he walked out of the cafe. Energetic and motivated to cruise the neighborhood and watch people's reaction to his new protective skin. The public proved very interested in chatting with him. There were ho-ho-hos, and hey Santa, what are you doing out in October anyway? Consumer <laughs> research? <laughs> Another guy said, don't forget about me, I've been nice all year, except to my brother Marty, but he's a total asshole. <laughs> Finally a guy said, I just got laid off by my startup. Are you guys hiring up at the North Pole? <laughs> All of these were met with the warmest wishes and largest smiles from Mr. Claus, as Owen gushed enthusiasm in his new starring role. No one was ordering a whiskey sour and de defiantly staring at his birthmark. No one threw up in the bar's bathroom and told Owen he better go swab the decks. Point is that these were no small victories for Owen. They were overdue. You might wonder to yourself why he didn't grow a beard and cover the damn thing up, but it wasn't that easy. His hair follicles unable to penetrate the abomination's cruel girth. Sure, the fog and the wind were chilly, but Owen didn't care, didn't even notice them as he paraded like a holiday peacock. I'm never taking this damn suit off ever, he said to himself, preparing to perform a belly laugh for a group of people coming his way. One of them was already calling out from down the block, we love you. What should we cut beef out? Fuck. One of them was already calling out from down the block, we love you, Santa. What kind of cookies should we leave out this year? Thanks very much. <laughs>